What's going on everybody? Tim from Jim Tana. Today I got another tips and trick video. Um, I'm gonna show you how I press out my ice water hash and take a dab of it. Um, you know, a lot of people don't really know what to do with the ice water hash, the bubble hash. What are they doing? A lot of people just put it on their bowl, maybe making a donut and, and putting it in a joint. But I'm gonna show you how I like to prep it so it's, uh, it's a little easier to manage. Uh, get on a dab tool and take a nice dab of it. Um, let's get into it. Okay, so all you need is one, you need your hash. Um, today I have strawberry jelly from Papa Select. This is the 90U water hash. I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a really good look right here. Check this stuff out. This stuff is some of the best hash that I've had the privilege of smoking, man. It is just absolutely gorgeous. 90U being the micron that it is, it is um, not full spectrum, it is just the 90U. The flavor, the smell, it is just through the roof here, guys. Truly, truly special hash. Second thing that you're gonna need, your dabber. Well, you're gonna need to get the hash out of the jar. Um, and then the last thing you'll need is uh, a piece of parchment paper, not wax paper. Very important step, don't mess this up. Parchment paper, not wax paper. Wax paper will fuck your shit up, don't want that. All right, so you're gonna take the parchment paper, a little square, Fold it in the middle, make life easy. We're gonna open our hash. And uh, I'll switch it back here real quick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice healthy scoop out of here, right? Nice healthy scoop. And if, if you get a little too much, if you get a little too little, you know, don't sweat it because you can always adjust the size of your dab that you take afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up in here. Be careful now with your hash. All right. Come here. Come here. There it is. All right. Now we've got our piece of hash. From here, what we're going to do, try to get it in the middle of your parchment paper. That's the goal. Um, you can use your hands if you need to uh, to get it off there. Depending on, on how your hash is, it might be a little more sandy. Um, this is a little greased up. It took a 10 hour drive back with us from Hall of Flowers. Um, it was beach sand when we first got it. Um, but regardless, now it's in here, right? It's in here, we'll show you on the, the close-up. Right? Now, no heat needed. No nothing, don't. These other tutorials where you see them heat up something and start pressing the hash, stop. Stop it. If you need to do that, your hash isn't, isn't, isn't good enough to really be dabbing and maybe you should, you should smoke it in a bowl or something. All you need is your hands. Two thumbs, two thumbs. Two thumbs would be like this. <laughs> Index finger and your thumb, push it together. We're, we're, we're looking to spread it out, that's the goal here. We wanna get it a little thinner, nice and even. You literally don't need anything but a little bit of heat from your fingers, a little bit of pressure from your fingers, anything else. The hash, honestly, is probably not that great if you can't spread it out like this. All right, now let's get the close up. Here it is, the reveal. Boom. We got ourselves a nice dab, man. We're ready to rock. All right, we're gonna take our dabber and then uh, just really in a fast motion, we're gonna pull this off and then it's gonna be ready to dab. Boom. Check that out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I personally prepare my ice water hash. Be ready to dab. Let's see if we can get a little, little better shot for you right there. How I get it ready. Now let's take a dab. Mmm, this stuff smells so good. It's gonna taste phenomenal. I'm excited. All right. <clears throat> Forge it up. Now with ice water hash, um, you definitely want to dab it a little lower of temperature. Um, there is more plant material in here than compared to your rosin. Um, so be sure to drop that temperature 20, 30 degrees. I'm gonna go in about 500. I normally dab with this pearl about 530, 540. Um, you want to take it spicy that's on you i just with the plant material it could be a little harsher um, you could start combusting that plant material and that's the last thing you want to do is really just ruin your hash experience drop the temp take it low another thing if you do do the melt shots guys make sure with your hash that you're not just uh tossing it on the side of the of the nail like you would with your with your rosin you want to try to get most of it on the bottom of the nail just so you can get the, the best smoke possible out of it. 
So don't drop it on the side. Try to drop it all the way on the bottom if you can. Use the entire surface, near, surface area of the nail. Let's take this dab. Cheers, you guys. Now that's just such a tasty dab. So smooth. Took it at about 500 degrees. Yummy. Just, just yummy. Now, as you saw in that melt shop, I covered almost the entire surface area of the bottom of the nail. That allowed me just to take a perfect dab. That's the goal when I'm pressing it out. I don't want a giant slab on there so it gets on the sides. I try not to waste this hash because it, it can be very expensive. Um, so try to get it all the way on the bottom of the surface area of the nail. <coughs> the least amount as you can on the sides. Low temperature and just enjoy the flavor. That's how I smoke my ice water hash. If you liked it, drop a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.